Well, the album's out and holy crap have you all been amazing. Um, I thought we'd do a quick debrief in today's vlog before we move on to what's next. So if you'd like to see all the rookie errors, and yeah, that's more than one that I made on release day, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to vlog. Um, oh, I've totally forgotten what number vlog it is. Um, Welcome to the vlog. Um, as you may know, the album came out on Phuket Records and Pook and Bones have been the best teammates ever. So I thought who better than to join me on this debrief than them. So yeah, so here with Pook and Bones from our label, you didn't, so okay, there's a joke here. I can't click my fingers. So if you heard a clicky noise, that was actually a fake noise or Pook going click. Thanks mate. <laughs> <laughs> so these lovely people run our label and put the album out. So firstly, massive thanks to you guys for believing in the project and uh, sharing the same ethos uh, and being a wicked team. Uh, You're welcome. Dis Very welcome. Despite all the colossal mistakes I made, like um, you made some porkers, my man. You made some absolute porkers. <laughs> like the first one would have to be putting the album out um, three days early on Bandcamp by accident. That made me really happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Right. It was like before before it even went out on sale, he was already raking it he was in, making my smashing head. it. Yeah. That's what it. kind of running before we're walking? I, I was I, I was loving it. Yeah. I was. Not in any way furious. calm. I think Pink, you weren't around. I think um, I think you caught up on the conversation halfway through, and I just messaged Katie, and I was like, um, just check Bandcamp a sec, because I pressed publish, and I swear I can buy the album. <laughs> yeah, we... it, it was well out of my uh, technology forte. It's not your um, thing. Yeah, like I, I, I if it. I don't know. To be fair, I probably could have done a bit more. Going, uh, yeah, can I look at Bandcamp and can I purchase it? Yeah, but uh, well, said, I wouldn't know how to resolve it. So it said it was released on the seventeenth. Yeah, so it looked like it was fine until people started buying it. It was confusing. It was confusing. <laughs> But um, uh, but luckily, like it was before we garnered the followers on Bandcamp that we have now, because we never had a Bandcamp before. So three people noticed and bought it. So if you're one of those three people, do you shout in the comments because that's hilarious. <laughs> you literally yeah, got the help. Yeah, you were the first. <laughs> um, possibly before some reviewers even got it as well. <laughs> <laughs> That was like massive faux pas, number one. So that's lesson learned, number one. Um, number two was, uh, well, it wasn't a mistake uh, for, on any of our part. It was um, just a show of Katie's amazing uh, organisation because PayPal completely ruined the day. <laughs> PayPal decided within seven or eight minutes of release that it was just going to crash. It wasn't going to work. Nobody could purchase anything. No money could change hands. Um so yeah, that was a very small breakdown, but we fixed it. We, we fixed did. it within. We were up and running again with a different payment system within twenty minutes. It was just the longest twenty minutes of my life. Is it been resolved now? Yeah. Oh, we're still arguing. We're still arguing. Yeah, they. Um, I think a couple of other bands had problems with their vinyl releases as well, with people buying it on PayPal. So um, yeah, it's a pain, it's but. Because we made the decision, or I say we, it was probably my silly idea to uh, release it at eight o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Um, <laughs> all of this is going on really early on a Sunday. <laughs> you still have the picture I sent you of my face, my glasses. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll fix it, I promise. It's like, right, <laughs> so things get serious, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, I, did feel, I did feel bad for you too. It was uh, a. <laughs> you, you went for a skate. Would yeah, you like to? You well, <laughs> to be fair, like technology is not really as as we know is not really my forte. Not your strong skill. Is um, it? I asked in the message, "Is there anything I can do to to ease everyone's pain in life?" <laughs> you guys said no, so I went. I I, I just made a skate gang in, in Great Missenden. There was a couple of kids out skating. Yeah. I went out skating with them. <laughs> Trying to learn how to ollie again and have a bit of a midlife crisis. Well, Andy, and slowly. Let you not pick up the pieces you know, <laughs> over uh, PayPal. I would like to have been doing that. I was like, it took me, it took me, um, we were supposed to post at 8am and you guys were ready and uh, I got up, uh, I don't know, half seven or whatever and I sort of started writing a Facebook post and I was so anxious about releasing the album and like, it's a bit of a risk, the whole idea. So I was like, will people get it? Will, uh, will it, I, who knows? 
And so I literally spent the best part of an hour writing this Facebook post. And like, when you write in a Facebook post, it blocks out the messenger. So I literally get to like quarter to nine. And I, I look at the time, I'm like, oh my God, it's like, it's like, I haven't even posted on the flipping Andy B in the world thing yet. And I kind of pull up another window and Katie's like, hi. <laughs> You're the artist, I need you. <laughs> but but luckily everyone was so lovely on the day that the anxiety quickly turned to a big smile. It was good, it was a good day. Yeah, yeah. it was a great day. It was the, such yeah, a good the day. response was mental. Yeah, and uh, seriously a massive thank you to everyone that has like uh commented or shared or or bought the album or is yet to buy the album um it means a lot it, it such, sounds like such a pun because the band name's Andy B in the world but it does mean the world um because it was a it was a hell of a project to tackle and um not saying we're the only people to have done it but it felt like a big walk into the unknown uh when putting this out and um yeah it went really well and we did it without a music video which is like rookie era number two and that's that's kind of partially my fault and partially covid because we had plans to do like a couple of videos but um, yeah, it kind of got thwarted by by COVID. But mm, that was a music video as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was definitely to, to have a go and not have a video to support the release. So it was it was different for us too. So yeah, but we said we had that uh, goofy little promo video that has now um, had more views than one of the actual music videos on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, which is ridiculous, but also also fantastic. But um, yeah, there'll be loads more on the YouTube to come as well. So um, keep an eye on that, people. Um, also on the label, we've got two other awesome releases, which I thought we should uh, donate some video time to. Yes. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is yeah, your time. Yeah, this is, <laughs> Shine, oh, Pook. This is even my forte. This is my <laughs> side of the stuff that I know, kind of know what I'm talking about, but at the same time, I don't. Um, I do. Um, yeah, so the first release was the 10 year anniversary of Beat the Red Light, Salt the Lands. Um, again, that, that, that bad boy was double, double vinyl gatefold and and again Matt, i think we wanted to use that template on the andy b in the world record um i just think it makes it i think i think as a label we're very much product orientated like you're just getting a nice thing to have and hold and like flick through all the artwork and stuff like that as well There's that's like a, a definitely digital side of the release and everybody loves digital and that's the way things are now but it's nice to have the nostalgia of a product in it for me digital is a bit like music's a bit like a coffee an mp3 is more like an instant coffee right but then you've got your vanilla latte or your, your, your flavored coffees and that's your vinyl and your seed it's just a bit more to it i don't drink coffee i do i think we're gonna have another slurper <laughs> My instant now. I keep um, meaning to send you a, a jar of Littles, actually. Mm. Mate, like that coffee was banging. I still, I still, I need to get some more. I haven't had any since uh, that recording session. So good. That's but anyway, sense. coffee. <laughs> we we don't yeah, I don't know how the hell we did that. Um, but yeah, then we've also got, um, we dropped an MP3 for Rashambo. That was a banger of a debut release, I thought. Um, I I love the fact how they've kind of hit the ground running, um, like it was, bang yeah here's a band page bang here's a here's a promo video and there's a song you're just like what what where the where the heck did that come from I think that's great with the modern day and age where people are very um, it, it's instant people people can get yeah. very. Like they lose, they, they they just kind of lose interest in it if it delves on for too long. But they were just kind of like straight to the point. They're already recording single number two. Yeah, and yeah. We've got a plan to work with them going forward this year, haven't we? So we're excited about. Yeah, music from them. I, I heard like a little clip. Uh, Pete, uh, Pete, the drummer who's also in Ducking Punches, uploaded a video, and I heard uh, the end. It was like I think it was like an ending or a build up or something. But yeah, it sounded amazing um yeah and then we've got the redeemer release which will probably be uh the next release after after these two so yeah so it's, it's all coming it's all coming along nice man and it's it's lovely getting um actually starting to begin um 
to get messages from bands with, who are interested in working with you. That like really, really, really means a lot. It's a nice um, family. Mm, yeah, exactly. And I think that's what that's what we want to do is kind of build. We're like obviously with modern times, but build that old school kind of family orientation with it. For sure. Um, that like community. the yeah, that can yeah, like well the, the Fat Rex. Um, Fat Rick kind of have that family all the bands know each other all the bands help each other out household name UK-wise household name had the same vibe didn't it? yeah exactly yeah yeah it was very much um, like a family run label where all the bands would help each other out Like it, it was very rare you would see a line up uh, and it was only one if, it, if there was a household name band to be played it would be very rare that you would see another band from a household name not be on there yeah um so yeah that's what i kind of want to build and i think that's kind of missing a little bit in the scar punk community wise and the the andy b in the world release has gone a long way to helping us get um oh defo getting the name out and about get a bigger following like, as well and uh, because it's been such a popular release so thank you yeah, yeah you're welcome. We you a lot more it was the only way we could have gone with it i believe with you guys it's uh it's it's the perfect fit yeah perfect fit cool yeah defo Yay, air <laughs> Um Cool, okay. Well, um, I will carry on with the rest of the vlog now. Um, but thank you guys for doing this. It was really nice to kind of debrief the album. And uh, yeah, I think there's lots of exciting things to come, uh, which yeah, will be read. Yeah. Really hope you enjoyed that insight into the process of putting the album out and the kind of things I did wrong, the things that went right, and our little family of PK Records. It's been really good fun. If you've checked the album out already, or you're going to yet, or you shared it, or you streamed it, really big thanks for checking it out. Really hope you like it. Um, if you're wondering why I'm outside, by the way, it just started snowing as I was finishing up editing this vlog, and uh, it was kind of too pretty to not bring the camera. I don't know why I brought the camera out, but <laughs> here we are. Anyway, one thing we really wanted to do is make it easy to find new bands, and um, one thing we've made is a Spotify playlist of all the bands involved, or, you know, all the members uh, of the bands that uh, contributed to our album so please do go check it out I'll put a link to the Spotify playlist in the description of this video anyway this uh, this season of the vlog is going to kind of draw to a close so you know we're going to start a new one for what's next but there's lots of music videos to come so please do stick with us subscribe if you haven't already and we will catch you soon so until the next time take care of yourselves stay safe